right? We're testing the controller, the trick, the, the little crazy hack or whatever that is. This is the cable, I kind of took it apart. You know, you guys can see, you know, pink, black cable. They're all kind of hacked it together. And I'm gonna move this out of the way. So we can spool this guy real quick. I'll put him back in its own little box once inside that thing when when we're done. Anyways. So here's the bike, here's just kind of the setup. I think. And here's the controller. This is the one that is kind of acting somewhat. This is the thing that I did for modification. I don't know if you guys can't see it, but and there's the big black thing in there. It's kind of like the same thickness as these. You know, these are the XT90s. You can see I don't, I'm not using the spark ones. I should probably get those, but you know, I'll probably get around to that. Using these as my, you know, my kickstand. I've tried multiple, none of them kind of work. They all moved out of these plays and made a mess in the end. You know, I'm using BB-5s in the back, BB-7s in the front, you know, 180, 160, but, you know, not for very long, because I already have another 180 that I'm going to probably put in the back right this weekend or something, I'm not sure, you know, just increase a little bit of the braking power of the bike, you know. And uh, this is my horn, 110 decibels, pretty pretty loud. You know, everything is you know, plugged. Control through here. This is main beams. I'm kind of plug the bike right now. You know, it's the horn, it's the time, temperature of the motor, temperature outside, cycle analyst. And, you know, I'll kind of move the bike a little bit into the living room. There's a little bit more light in here, I think. Maybe, maybe the back here. Let's move it on the back. Now there's more light here, it looks like. I think. Anyways, this is the bike. And now this is the rear headlight right here. And you guys can see it's a little dirty, but uh, the Dior Shadow Plus, then speed. And this is the 44, 48, and uh, you guys can probably see it a little bit underneath. It's right there. There's a 32. My fingers are touching right now. This is the motor, you know, right there. You know, all, pretty much all the cables are taped inside. I'm kind of going down there, you know, and uh, I changed these with a Shimano. It has like metal bushings inside. You know, this is my voltage regulator right here. This is where all the voltage runs to power all the headlights. 7.5 volts, so it's direct drive, MTG2. Now this is my handlebar kind of front to front. You know, I got these two modified MTG2 headlights. You know, and this is where the camera that I'm filming with usually goes, and this is my, this is the USB where it plugs, so it's a dash cam, and this is my throttle modification, so it's easy to hold, this is my zip tie mod, so it makes it easy to, to keep holding without having to keep pressing that thing, so you just put your, your knuckle this area, and it sort of works, and this is my modified SLX 10 speed shifter with this modification, it doesn't interfere, so now I can, basically I'm already in 10th gear, but, but I can I can just push it and you know, it works as advertised. And you know, without much of a delay, I'll uh, power this bike boy up and you know, and I'll show you guys. Alright, let's get the spark. Alright, you heard the spark, pretty awesome spark. Right there. Anyways, I'm running. You know, you guys can see, you know, it's, this is the last time I did it. 
kind of when it came from work nine miles you know you know 44.9 watt hours is not bad considering you know it's running pretty pretty good you know this is why you know it's 36.4 it's what's locked up i'm still not understanding why it has regen because the motor has never been <laughs> run and this is my lowest voltage and you know and uh average speed you know yeah but 74.4 is the maximum speed that i just did on, on testing these things and then this is kind of like the timing or anything but that's the average speed you know and uh you know this is the number of miles i got on the bike i'm almost a thousand basically i've cycled these batteries approximately 78 times already they're not new anymore but you know they still have pretty low internal resistance and yeah, this is the main screen i'm it's gonna reset everything so you know so we can you know brought, work with these for some crazy reason i don't know why it's reading zero but that's probably because i put the the refresh too fast anyways so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to you know you can see i'm gonna disconnect these disconnecting these so we will be running on mode two this is mode 2 of the bike. I'm going to be running on, as you guys can see, I'm running on the 11 tooth, 48. You guys can see it in here. I'm at the lowest settings. You know, big and smallest. You know, so I'm already powered. I'm going to power this throttle. And I'm just going to somehow hold it with my teeth. You guys can see how it works. Ah. Uh. Huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna spool it up. Remember, mode two. Alright, you guys saw it, fifty point four miles an hour. Not bad. But wait until we unlock the monster. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be plugging this guy back in. Alright. Now we got this pin is connected. So everything is ready to rock. We're going to repeat the process. And here we go. I don't get nothing. Well, there you guys have it. 74 miles an hour. So it's not some crazy thing that I just saw. You guys can see that it's got some serious acceleration once it gets into the 40 mile an hour RPM range, so you can cruise with this thing in, in fifth gear. So this is just for demo purposes. I I think I really need to run the 11 tooth pin in anymore on this bike, but um, works pretty good. So thanks for, you know, checking it out and, you know, hopefully you guys do the mod and run mode three. See you guys. Thank you.